Virgo and welcome Taurus Virgo and Capricorn. Welcome to your week ahead Taroscopes with me Intuitive Renee. On the table here in front of me I have two amazing decks giving us the theme of fairies and angels. So I thought that was quite a good theme to go with for this week. We are looking at the week of the 1st to the 7th of May 2023. Yes friends, May is here. Month 5 has arrived crazy crazy times so the tarot deck that i am working with this week is the mystic fairy tarot beautiful beautiful deck giving us many many fairy fey vibes and then the oracle that i'm working with this week is the angels among us oracle i love this deck it is so modern it is so bright it is so vibrant um and it is so relevant so yeah, angels among us. So we're going to see what message the Fae and the angel realm want to share with us. We are going to start with tarot. So I'm going to move my angels among us just off camera for a bit. And let us shuffle the tarot. And let us lay out the cards that we need. So as I'm shuffling, we're asking all our fairies. <laughs> our fairies, our angels, and our spirit guides to connect with us to give us cards that bring an appropriate, relevant, significant message for all Earth signs, for Taurus, for Virgo, and for Capricorn, for the, for the week of the 1st to the 7th of May 2023. What is this week? What does this week have in store for you? What do you need to know? What do you need to be mindful of? Right, let's give it shuffles. I'm happy with that, actually. Let's cut. And let's start drawing. So when I, you can see now the, the colors go a bit weird. And as soon as I place the cards, it does. But once all the cards are down, the colors will be a bit better. So we have King of Pentacles as our first card. We then have the Tower as our card number two. We then have card number three is the Four of Pentacles. And our fourth, oopsie, fourth tarot that we're having is the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to put our angel card first, and then we will interpret all the cards. Just make some space, make them neat and tidy. First of all, how fabulous is this coloring? So these cards, I mean, who would have ever thought that blue and shocking pink would go so well together? But they so do love, love, love the coloring on this. Okay, just going to give a little shuffle over here. One more little shuffle as we're asking our angels to connect with us and to give us a single angel who wants to work with us this week or who has, sorry, I'm messing up the tarot, a single angel who wants to work with us or give us a relevant, significant message this week. All right, happy with the shuffle. Let's cut the deck there and taking off the top. Let's just tidy up my mess. One day I'll get it right. <laughs> and our angel we have is the angel of Horus, angel of Horus, card number 35, and he deals with clear seeing, he deals with intention, and he deals with perspective, absolutely gorgeous, and he's got the eye of Horus, I have it on my arm, um, so we know exactly who he is, we've got the, the, the triple moon on his on his crown which is just gorgeous i'm loving all the symbolism all around him so we have got the angel horus connecting with us and guiding us this week for all earth signs for taurus for virgo and for capricorn so let's start off with the tarot so the first card that we drew tells you that your week is going to start off we've got king of pentacles now here we have a king can you see how how gentle he looks if you look at the expression on his face he doesn't look like he's a let's go and fight and kill and murder you know he doesn't look like he's that kind of authoritative figure he seems to be quite quite gentle he seems to be quite slow he's sitting you know his, his shoulders are a little bit stooped he's very comfy he's very familiar with himself and his environment he's not he is ambitious but he's not like overly ambitious and he's not the kind of king who who needs to be achieving success and da 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 da, da all the time he's like you know what chill everything will be okay everything will work out everything will be exactly as it needs to be and that might be how you're feeling the fact that your week starts with a king energy tells you earth signs that you're feeling quite confident going into this week all right you're feeling quite comfortable with yourself with your environment, with your situation. You're feeling like, you know what, everything's chill, everything's chill, everything's chill. But then, bam, okay, bam. 
And I'm loving that Horus, our angel Horus, he is clear seeing and he's giving you the tower card. Okay, so it's almost like he's saying to you, this is where you are, which is cool, which is chill. You know, we, we got good vibes, but you need to understand that things can and probably may go wrong this week because that's what the tower card energy is. The tower card is about sudden sudden chaos. We have a lightning bolt that strikes our home, our place of, of happiness, joy, and success. It strikes it, it creates a fire, and then suddenly, you know, where there's fire, things go wrong. So the Tower card is the card that says to you that there may be a sudden disruption to your comfortable place, your comfortable state of being, okay? Perspective has come through because this is, you know, and this is what your, your angel is saying to you. Perspective. When things go wrong, instead of going straight into panic, instead of jumping straight into, ah, we need to understand. Hold a second. All right. Why has this happened? Let's let's analyze. Let's look at the intuition. Let's look at ourselves. Let's look at our clear seeing and say to ourselves, why has this happened? Okay. What is the overall reason that spirit have caused this chaos for me? Because when you understand it, you have a better understanding on what to do about it, how to change your circumstance, how to climb out of it, how to adjust okay and if you don't know how to adjust that's when the the fire burns but when you know okay hold a second it's just going to burn that top section which is great because actually then i can redo it later in a way that best suits me but if you're in a state of panic you actually add to the chaos add to the disaster so you need to stay level-headed you need to keep your wits about you and you need to not panic i know earth signs i know how do you not panic when you know something is going to go wrong it is just about trusting, believing, and knowing. Be be that king of pentacles. You know, be that king who's like, no, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I got this, I got this, I got this. Be that king of pentacles who who's saying to you, right, you know what, it, it's okay. Let's let's just let's just use our intuition. Let's just trust and see where it goes. Because in science, we now move on to our next one. And here we have our four of pentacles. So she is sitting and she is pondering life. All right. If you look at her, if you look at her body language, the way she's sort of resting her head in her hands, she is pondering life and she's got these baskets, an abundance of fruit and wheat and, you know, everything around her that she's sort of keeping to herself, isn't it? Um, she's sort of holding on to it. And here comes, here comes a little field mouse. And the little field mouse is sneaking so quietly and looks like he wants to take some of her fruit from her but she is like she's not really being fully aware of that and the story of the four of pentacles is the card that says to you that sometimes in life we can get so attached to our stuff in her case fruit all right fruit and wheat we can get so attached to our stuff that we tend to hold on to it for so long so hard that when we actually eventually want to eat it or in well in her case eat the fruit it's actually gone fraught you know, it's already, it's it's expired, it's gone all mushy, it's got nunus, it's got whatever. It, it isn't actually suitable for eating anymore. So sometimes when we hold on to stuff so hard and so long, things go wrong. You understand the message. So what is it in your life, even before we look at the rest, what is happening in your life, Earth Sites, that maybe you need to let go of, use, um, before it expires, before it goes wrong? Like, we, we mustn't just be so happy to sit and wait all the time sometimes we need to be a little bit more proactive a little bit more full of initiative so that we don't end up losing or wasting that which we have and maybe that's why you're having a tower moment so the perspective that we're going to take when things go wrong is to ask yourself okay what is stale stagnant what is being wasted here and that's what it is that's on fire and that's what it is that i need to let go of by sharing because there are plenty who would be very happy with your scraps who would be very happy to take what 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 is excess for you and so I'm not saying give your food away. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I'm saying whatever it is that you're holding on to, whether it be an emotion, whether it be a thing, whether it be a situation or a circumstance, whatever it is that you are holding on to so tightly, maybe we need to start letting go a little bit. And when we let go, it takes us to the Seven of Pentacles. So if we have a look at the Seven of Pentacles, so here she's made friends <laughs> with, her, with her little woodland mice she's made friends with them and what she's doing is she is working on you can see that she looks like she's weaving it looks like she's doing something over there seven of pentacles is the card of 
understanding the work that you need to put in to a thing, to a situation or a circumstance that you will only see the benefits of later. It again comes back to this perspective, doesn't it? It comes back to the clear seeing of knowing what's ahead for you, knowing what's coming. So the Seven of Pentacles is basically saying that when you identify what it is that you're holding on to that maybe you should be letting go of, when you're able to identify what that is, you will be in a position where you can actually start putting the effort in towards a better future for yourself in the future. It's not going to happen now, but you've got to put the work in now. So this is the weak earth signs that you start putting the effort in into doing all the things that you need to do in order to achieve good outcomes. Knowing and being confident and comfortable with your environment, with your surroundings, with your situation is not enough. You have to maintain, use, you know, a, a refresh, re-energize. And we haven't done that in a while, which is why things are going to get shaken up a little bit this week. A little bit of a shake up this week for you to put things into perspective so that you can start working towards a better future for yourself. So our Archangel Horus, he is really saying to you, you need to be looking at big picture stuff. Don't focus just on today, today, today. We need to be like, not even just this week. We need to be going bigger picture. So he's encouraging you and he's asking you to please expand your view this week, to expand your view, to expand your perspective and to understand that you are the only one who can see clearly what's ahead for yourself. But we mustn't get too caught up in when things go wrong because when things go wrong, it is an opportunity to redirect the focus and the energy. All right, Earth Signs, interesting week for you. I know you're going to be okay. I know you're going to get through it. You've got Archangel Horus on your side. Use him, lean on him, call on him. When you're confused, when, when tragedy strikes, when things go wrong, stop, breathe, pause, call on him and say, help me. What am I supposed to be seeing? What am I supposed to be doing? And how do I do it? All right, Earth Signs, as always, much love and many blessings. I hope you have an amazing week with love and blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, take care.